So hello dear teachers, in today's video I'm going to introduce a way that can help you gamify reading comprehension questions. What does that mean? Well, I'm sure you know that working on reading comprehension skills is essential. That's why I'm positive that you practice reading comprehension texts a lot with your students. In order to help them get used to re the reading comprehension questions and to practice certain reading comprehension strategies. So, in this video, I would like to offer you a way that can help you gamify and activate and also engage your students in reading comprehension questions with the reading comprehension questions challenge that you see in front of you. Now, what I did is I prepared this reading comprehension questions using Google Slides, but it could also be done with PowerPoint. Okay, so as you can see here, next to each and every reading comprehension question, there's a timer below. What does that mean? Well, it actually means that when you present this question in class, you're going to challenge your students to come up with the answer in only 30 seconds. Some questions do require one minute, but you can play around with it. Uh, whatever you see that is suitable for your students. So, let's say that this is the question I give to my students. The question is, what is the title of the text? Okay, we have a timer for 30 seconds that is going to stop at a certain point uh, soon. And your students have to find the title of the text. Great. So, once the time is up, it starts uh, working. Where did I get the timer from? Easy peasy from YouTube. So you can find a timer that is suitable for you. Just simply copy the link and paste it on your presentation to appear at the bottom of the page next to the question. Let me show you other examples of other questions. Here, I will ask my students to find three capitalized words. So why is it important for me that my students find three capitalized words. Well, because when you have capitalized words, it means that it's in the beginning of the sentence or a title or a name. So when you know that it's a name and it's capitalized, you don't have to worry, it's a name. You don't have to look for the meaning or try to find clues to find the meaning or run to the dictionary and find out the meanings of the words. That's the message that I wanted to get across to my students. Once they do the challenge, we'll go over the word and start talking about capitalized words, which I think is something that definitely should be done in classes and not taken for granted, that's for sure. Let's take a look at other questions. Okay, here, so here my students had to find a number. In almost any text, there's a number. So, I'll ask them to find a number, and what does this number refer to? And this is also a very important skill that I want my students to know. And then I'm going to give them a timer for one minute to look for the number, and then to find out what does it refer to, and then we'll go over the question together. So, having the element of timing makes my students be on task. If I had to ask them this question in class without using a timer, I am positive that it's going to take them much longer time to find out the answer. Let's move on to another question. So, in this question, my students had to find as many verbs as they can in the text. And you will not believe how engaged students are when they are timed. You have, they have one minute to find out verbs, which is something very, very important. And once the time is up, you can go over the words, make sure that they really spotted the verbs and not anything else. Here's another example. Here they have to find adjectives in the text. Another example of a different question. They have to find a word that they don't know. And here you have an excellent opportunity for them to find the word that they don't understand. Now, once they do, the timer goes off. You ask them, which word don't you understand? You write it on the board. Maybe some students in class do really know the meaning of the word. And then you can... Um, write it down so it will be there whenever they have to really deal with the text and answer reading comprehension questions. Moving on to another example. Find the main idea from the text and this is very important. I always teach my students that the main idea is the 
big idea what the text is about and I also tell them to find the main uh, idea of the text and it can be found in the beginning or at the end and that's something that I work on with my students if you're interested in finding out how I teach the main idea there's a video available on my YouTube channel I'm gonna link it below in the description box so enjoy that moving on to the next question what kind of text is, is this it's very important the students are familiar with the text types and they'll be able to tell you okay you give them 30 seconds and then you go over it how did you know that this is a letter how did you know that it's an article how did you know that this text is an ad how did you know that it's a story so there are certain clues that help us no, uh, the text type. Perfect. Let's move on to another question. Okay, this is a creative one. Your students have to write a different title for the text. For this one, I give a minute because I really need them to know that the title of the text is very important because it pretty much tells what the text is about. So they have to be very careful once they decide on a different title. Okay, in this question, I ask them to find a pronoun and what does this pronoun refer to, which is also excellent. It's a very needed skill once you teach reading comprehension. Okay, so this is basically the reading comprehension question challenge that I use with my students. It really works, even with weaker students, I assure you. So change the questions to questions that you would like to ask your students. You can also play around with the timer, find a lot of um really cool timers online on youtube and there you go you have your reading comprehension question challenge and that is how i engage my students in reading comprehension text okay i hope that you find this video helpful i'm going to link this presentation in the description section below this youtube video so you can use them if you like i'm really very happy to share some ideas that really work in my classroom and just share them with other teachers so other students and teachers can benefit. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you're going to get more videos and I will be sharing more ideas in the future. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum everyone.